before trains steamed through the mountains. Before cars coughed across the unpaved Lincoln Highway. Before jets soared coast to coast. The journey west was just a crawl. It's here the wagon trains rolled. Starting in the 1840s, the American dream was tied to a team of mule or oxen and these fragile wooden wagons. On these bumpy, dusty trails, there were no guarantees. Just to gamble and say, leave everything behind and come out here and start a whole new life and hopefully you were gonna make it, spend that five months on the trail and make it. And a lot of people didn't, a lot of people perished along the way. The graves of thousands of pioneers tell the story of the cost of this great journey west. A journey almost forgotten. Dust and sagebrush, tall grasses and giant forests try to steal and mask the last hints of the old trails the traces of the wagon trains nearly lost. Hundred seventy years later, history buffs turned detectives have come to rediscover the trails and hunt those lost graves. I'm Dave Cravassier, crossing the backcountry of Nevada with a new team of pioneers searching for the old trails of the wagon trains. I'm joining this team of history hunters from a unique group called Trails West. Do a quick radio check. Together, we will slowly cross a lonely wilderness will literally walk in the tracks of the wagon trains and touch the pioneer signatures scratched into rock walls along the trail. It's kind of a way of reliving history and seeing history in action. On good days, they did 30 miles and they're walking the whole way. Every view that we look at is exactly what they saw. A lot of sections are basically pristine trail. It doesn't look much different than it did when the immigrants came through, except it's been worn down by them. It's like uh, solving a mystery, trying to locate the trails and try to retrace them. And it, it was really kind of a challenging operation. We'll pour over the diaries of the immigrants and see how their words reveal the lost trails. Entered a beautiful canyon, a splendid looking place with perpendicular rocks for 200 feet. October 2nd, 1853, Ellen Burt. You can read the diary quotes in certain different places and know that right where you're standing, you know, such and such happened. This has been the saddest day of my journey. I counted on this day's drive, 367 dead oxen. There are many wagons abandoned. September 14th, 1849, Pardon Dexter Tiffany. We'll visit the springs that kept their livestock alive and hunt for the graves of those left behind and hear the stories that just flow out of these mountains. Was last and murdered there, these Indians killed, and the rifle planted on them, we're still waiting for the rest of the story. So these were ordinary people that decided to leave what they knew and go to the unknown. One hill, we locked both wheels and put on ropes to let our wagons down. Abram Minji's August 17th, 1849. And where they let the wagons down is right over here. It's like the edge of a cliff. Trees hundreds of feet high and four, five, six feet in diameter. At the gravesite of Mrs. Coons, and she died in childbirth, they erected a little monument for her. The women in, in the wagon train took it upon themselves to take care of someone else's baby and to feed it and take it on as their own. And that baby came back when he was 80 years old to his mom's grave. I just think that's amazing. We'll see where the pioneers blazed the trails, marking trees to map their way. Plant a marker right on the emigrant trail and hear the story of the 40 mile desert. 
we'll journey through one of the great wonders of the American West, the Lost Canyon through which thousands of pioneers passed. You come into this high rock canyon, it's these vertical walls that are several hundred feet high, spectacular. Join me as we retrace the Great Western Migration. Out here, they are saving history, hunting the old pioneer trails.